Kelly with expressionsvinyl.com and today I'm going to answer the big question. What can you put adhesive vinyl onto? There's a lot you can put it onto. You can put it onto glass, preferably permanent outdoor vinyl onto glass. You can put it onto metal to make dog treat cans. You can put it onto a variety of plastics. Um, I'd still use 651s and 51 permanents. You can put it onto ceramics. You can even put it on wood, and of course, you can put it onto canvas. We carry several different types of adhesive vinyl, two of which are our own lines. So we have our Series 31, which is a matte removable, and our Series 51, which is a permanent gloss finish. And both will have the types on the back, as well as our logo. So today I'm going to show you putting it onto canvas. And we're going to use the 51 and the 31 series on both projects so you can see what it work, how it works, putting them on non-painted canvas and painted canvas. So I've already got the images cut out. This is our series 31 and our series 51. But first, you have to transfer tape it because adhesive vinyl needs transfer tape to be able to move it over. And this one is the paper transfer tape. All you have to do is line it up. Smooth out your transfer tape, and then all you need to do is square it up. And that's all you have to do to apply your transfer tape to your vinyl. And now it is ready to be put onto your canvas. So first we're going to apply our hearts to the top, and we're going to show you how it works with non-painted canvas and painted canvas. First, you're going to burnish it a little bit and then just remove the backer. And apply it to where it needs to be. Okay. Then you're just going to burnish it again to place the adhesive onto the canvas. You'll see that Series 51, since it has a permanent adhesive, applies fairly easily. Hardly any burnishing and no support underneath. Okay, and now we'll take the same thing, same method. This is our Series 31. Burnish it a little bit to get the, the transfer tape to adhere to the vinyl and pull it off and line it up just like you did the hearts. Series 31 has a removable adhesive, so some materials it does not like to adhere to right off. Just like that. So if you notice, this one's painted and this one is not. So painting the surface makes a big difference. It fills in any of the canvas gaps and it gives you a lot um, cleaner surface to work with. You can keep burnishing, kind of keep working your way around, and it will do a little bit better. But sometimes the simplest solution is just a board. This is just a scrap board you can put underneath. It fits right on the back inside of your canvas, just like that. And now you have a more solid surface to burnish onto. I would recommend this with any canvas projects that you do. How easy was that? Okay, I want to show you again. This time we're going to rotate our board. You're going to take your Series 51 and remove the backer paper. And same technique. Just apply your vinyl. 
and burnish it really well to get any surfaces touched. This is on the unpainted canvas, so it might shrug a little bit, but that board is going to come in handy. Okay. And now we have our series 31 black, and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so we have our painted canvas and our unpainted canvas. So let's see how that does. Painted does really well with the six ser series 31. You might still have to push a little bit more. And that did better. Okay. All right. And now your canvas is done. So if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. Leave any comments or questions below. And go make your own fun canvases. Thanks, guys. Bye.